Before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. The placement season is here. I know a lot of you are planning to sit for companies which come on campus. In case you are disappointed that the top startups like Cred, Upgrad, Razorpay are not hiring directly from your campus, there is an easier way to work here. Just register for the Relable test conducted by Relable by Unacademy and you'll get a chance to apply for front-end, back-end and business development roles at India's top startups and unicorn companies. Relable has 1000 plus openings by 50 plus companies and the best thing is it's absolutely free. So please make sure you check out all the links in the description and give the Relable test as soon as possible. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today I will be solving the problem iterative post order traversal. Now in the previous video, we did check that uh, the post order traversal can be done iteratively using couple of stacks. But in this video, I'll tell you how to do this using one stack. So what's a post order traversal? It's basically nothing but left, then you go to right and then it's the root. So it's a left, right, root that is what a post order traversal is so what did you do in the recursion if you remember it was left then it was right then it was print so logically thinking it was kind of go to left 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 and then when it when it ended then go to the right and then when the right again recursion call then right again go to left 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 and again when the recursion ended then go to the right then again left 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 then again right and then after that you print it right then after that when you came back the right got printed so it's kind of a go left go left go left and the moment it gets you something as null try to go right and then again go left 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 right so that is how our algorithm will focus on and we're going to use an external stack in order to maintain the stack trace or stack space so I've already discussed the intuition. You try to go to left, 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 and then a right, and then again left, 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 then a right, then again left, left, left. And I know the uh, post order is left, right, root. So this is the algorithm that I've already written. Why have I written it uh, prior to this? Because otherwise it will get very tricky to understand. So I've written the algorithm. I'll do a dry run. And when I do the dry run, you will see that the intuition is being applied over here. The going of left, 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 and then right, and then left, left, left. The intuition is being applied. So let's start. So what you will start as you will take a curve and I'll point to the root of the node. Okay, I'll point to the root of the node. Remember this. And you'll take a stack. So take a stack. And you know stack is nothing but a last in first out data structure. So just take a stack which is pointing to uh, like which is empty and start the traverse and try to go as left as possible. So when you start, the curve has to be not null and the stack like or the stack has to be non-empty. So the curve is one, which is the root. Curve is not null, first uh, condition. Stack dot push curve. So what you'll do is, you'll take this one and you will push it, okay? And it says curve, curve dot left. So I'll go curve dot left, that's two. Perfect. Again, you come back, curve not null. So stack dot push curve and curve will go again curve dot left. So curve will again go to three. Again come back stack dot push three curve equal to curve dot left. So this will become null. I hope you have understood. I went like left 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 and why am I not printing? Because I print uh, the extreme left right. After that I print the right. This is a subtree for which I do not have a left. So left is no more not printed so right will be printed then three will be printed so i have to go to the right perfect so how will that happen cur is null null so the moment i come back again i see cur is null so this if is not executed so this guy is executed what happens is temporary is st dot top right threes right threes right is four so temporary is a variable that's assigned to Three is right, that's four. So I assign that. Is temporary null? No. So cur will be reassigned to the right. So cur is reassigned to four. Okay. Now again, you come back. Stack will say, okay, I'll take you and I'll move left. So when it four tries to move left, it again finds a null. 
So again, this will happen. The moment you again come back, temporary this time says stack dot top four. What's your right? Your right is five. So temporary is assigned to five. So what I see is temporary is not null. So cur is reassigned to five. So cur will be reassigned to five. Again, I come back. Stack will say, okay, I'll store you. And five, why don't you go to left? So the moment it tries to go to left, it will be a null. Again comes back. Temporary says stack dot top dot right. So temporary becomes six. And this time temporary is not null. So the curve will reassign itself to temporary. So the curve becomes six again. Again it comes back. Stack says, hey, why don't I take six? And I'll say curve, why don't you move left? So the moment it moves left, it becomes null. I hope you've understood. I went left, 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 right. There was no left. So again, right, no left. So again, right. Sim similar to post order. Now, the moment I've reached here, it's time to print this. How do you print this? Okay, the moment the the moment you come back again, car is null. So temporary this time says stack dot top right. So that's null. So temporary becomes null this time. The moment temporary becomes null, what happens? See, temporary says, okay, I'm gonna pick up the topmost element and pop it out. So he go, he's gonna take up this element and pop it out. So I popped it out. At the same time, I'm saying post order. Why don't you add it? So post order says, okay, I'm gonna add this. So this is my first post order, logically correct. Left, right. So on this, this is the extremist, right? So that's why. Next, what does this for loop for? What does this while loop for? It states if the stack is non-empty and the temporary, temporary is six. If it is equivalent to stack dot top right, so what is top? Five. So five's right, it is, it is. So I have to go back, I have to go back to five. And if I'm going back to five as a temp, why don't you reassign yourself to five? right basically the previous value and pop, pop yourself out at the same time the post order will also add it so i've taken it perfect again the while loop executes and again i check four so right is five or not and it is so i again do the same thing i again pop this value out and i reassign temp at the same time i say uh, post order why don't you have it yourself again i do the same thing i say three is your right four yes so I take three out and I reassign temp. At the same time, I say post order, why don't you have? So basically I'm going up root, root, root. I've gone. Now, what's left? Two. Two. Is your right three? No. So this there is no more root for three. There's no more root for three. So I'll not go back. And when I don't go back, what happens? This while loop is over. This time, the cur is still null. So I'll go back again. And temporary will be st dot top right so when i have st dot top that's two the right will be null again so if i have null again temporary i again perform these following steps temporary says why don't you take the top so two is taken and it's popped out and the moment i take two it says post order why don't you have it so post order has it does it have a root like does it have a root it says this while loop will say no it doesn't have a root so nothing to be printed so it's over Again, I'll come back. Again, I'll come back. And the car is still null. So I'll say st dot top dot right. This time the top is one. So the right becomes seven. So this time temporary becomes seven. So the temporary is not null. Car is reassigned to temporary. So car becomes seven this time. So the moment the car becomes seven, again start your same thing. Stack dot push seven. And car becomes car dot left. The so seven will go to. 8 again comes back stack dot push 8 car says why don't you go left the moment it goes left it becomes null okay so this is what is being stored in your stack as of now and it's null. again comes back temporary says stack dot top 8 what's your right so temporary says 8's right is null if it is i say temporary why don't you take your top so temporary says okay i'll take the top so it'll become you make you 8 after that, it says post order. Why don't you have it? So I'll say, okay, I'll have it. Does eight have any root? No, so this while loop will not be executed. And uh, I will come out again. And the moment I come out, I again get car as null. So again, temporary says, cool. I'm going to take the right. I'm going to take stack dot tops right. So sevens, right I'm taking because eight has been traversed. It's time to go to the right of this subtree. So seven says, my right is null. 
So temporary again becomes null. Again, this will be executed. Temporary says st dot top. So the top is seven, correct? So you just take this seven and you reassign temporary and the post order will also take the seven. Perfect. Well, does seven have a root? Yes, seven has a root. Why? Because seven has a root one. So what it does is it takes temporary now as one and this guy re post or the post order is added with one. Once this is added, your stack ultimately becomes empty. Once your stack becomes empty, you will end up getting stack empty as well as car null. Like as you can see, stack is empty and the car is null. As soon as it happens, you can say that the post order is ultimately printed for this given tree binary tree. And that's the answer. That this is how the iterative post order traversal will look like. So guys, what will be the time complexity of this? The time complexity will end up being we go off twice of n. Now you'll ask, hey Striver, why it is twice of n? Now the answer will be very, very simple. See, what did you do initially? If you remember, like assume, assume I give you a binary tree which looks something like this. Just having a right node. So what will you do? You will start with this, doesn't have a left, so you'll add this to the stack, then you'll go to the right, you'll add this to the stack, you'll go to the right, you'll add this to the stack, you'll go to the right, you'll add this to the stack. And while coming back, you'll print this, then you'll check this, then you'll check this, then you'll check this. So this while loop will be extremely executed for n times. And first you took n times in order to insert all these elements, in order to insert all these elements into your stack. So can I say the worst case complexity will be twice of n? But I will be using only a single stack. Yes, you are using a post order, but that's used for storing. Like that's used for storing. So I can ignore that. So I can say the space complexity will be b go of n. So I hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.